Aure e tāia e te pōriuri, te pōriuri, te patu. Mā te mārama tanga anahi. Kāore e tāia e te mai wāhara, te mai wāhara te patu. Mā te aroha anahi. You don't belong here. This is not your country. You are a terrorist. I have always identified myself as a New Zealander and a Sikh. I come from the state of Punjab from India. We started migrating out of India after 1984 when we actually went through a genocide. I was the first child born in New Zealand from my family, the first generation. Huh? Well, can the safety working uh, <laughs> my grandparents and my parents, they've encountered direct racism from people in the streets. You do kind of feel hopeless in that situation because you really can't do anything. If you say something, that person's going to attack you. I know many, many kids, sick kids, who find it very difficult to go to school with their turbans or with long hair people saying is there like a bomb inside your turban stuff like that so it's really difficult for them to be themselves the Gurdwara is a community center for all people to anyone in need, anyone can come here to have food, have shelter, and can call companionship because that's what it symbolizes. Langad, free food, is a really important aspect of the Sikh religion because when it was started back in the 1500s, a lot of people in India didn't have food to eat. So the Langar Hall is a selfless service of act and a way of giving to the community. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh. Ek o ankar sat naam karta purkh nirpo nirvair akal murat When I started off in year 9, I had the most lowest self-esteem. My self-worth was based off the opinions of what other people thought of me. I was in a dark, little dark place. Slowly, I met people and teachers who, you know, believed in me when I'd never even believed in myself. I joined the Big Stand, which is an anti-bullying campaign in our school. I met people who were passionate about the community and I was really inspired and uplifted by how they wanted to serve humanity and how they wanted to create change in schools and in the wider community and in the world. I wanted to create that same opportunities for other people so that someone like me who had the most lower self-esteem could empower themselves and be the best version of who they can be. I'm quite active at school in terms of leadership and leadership portfolios. So I am the United Nations ambassador for our school this year. Zonta is an international forum which empowers women and a youth version of that is Z Club, um, which 
we opened up this year in our school and I was one of the co-presidents. I wish to bring more women by my side, shoulder to shoulder, so we can make a difference together in this world. She was a little girl, she always loved people. She was always very humble and very kind. When she was in preschool, she always considered of other people, always helping other people. My name is Harsimran Kaur Hundal. I'm a year 13 student at Howard College, and I'm very proud, privileged, and excited to share with you an initiative and project that aims to make this world a better place. Embrace and Educate was a project that I envisioned after the Christchurch attacks. To my thinking, I think it's the lack of understanding of different people's identities, faiths and religion that lead to bullying and then discrimination and in some cases even the killing of people. So the project it consists of a series of videos, you know, celebrating the diversity of our community. Educate and Embrace project was created to help promote unity and acceptance throughout the school and the wider community. Hi, I'm Adrienne and I have put together the diversity video. Hi, my name is Alyssa Davis. Hi, I'm Alyssa. Hi, I'm Tina. Hi, I'm Alyssa. Hi, I'm Alyssa. Hi, my name is Carmen and I'm in charge of the Mardi video. Hi, my name is Tana. Involved in most of the videos, I've seen the similarities between different cultures and different identities, and it's truly, it's truly amazing to see how many similar things there are than the differences that we have. I realized that. The person that I am today is heavily influenced by the diversity of our community. We hear so many different thoughts and opinions of different people every single day. I'm not only shaped by my own Sikh religion, but I'm shaped by all these different communities around me, all these different ideas, opinions, perspectives. Yes, the Sikh community gives me the catalyst to create change, but these other communities as well, they remind me that I need to have an open mind. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.